I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So, I actually followed, um... Oh, looks like the blades are coming along, too. I'm afraid there's a, a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Jigglypuff. He's a rival. Not just him. The blades have been hunting him. Justice demands that he die. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath is a justice can be patronized what you are. So the blades whether or not truly um want to kill Parthenax, and this is an area where I side against them. Haven't you been listening? There he devours the souls of the heroic dead who feed his power. You must find the support of the sovereign guard. Haven't you been listening to me? Yeah, I followed Ulfric for a ways, and he does use um, the Thum to kill any creature that he encounters that gets in his way, which in this case just happened to be a few bears. It would have been interesting to see him fight uh, against dragons, but I'm not sure if they spawn uh, naturally on the way. Of course, if you talk with him first and then talk with Rika, then you can follow uh, them uh, along instead. So, you've done it. Men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Yes, yes. Which is one, but regrets. Take your seat at the council table. And let so, us see what wisdom you find among these warriors. You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the dragon horn on this map. Where are you? Hubris of the blades truly knows no bounds. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse your tragedy. The matter at hand is urgent. All it must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that all poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, very well. Okay, so we will follow them in to the Peace Council, which is over in this room. Oh, what a fun party. If you can arrange an end to the fight, Dragon's Reach is at your disposal. And so we meet again. But this time I know who and what you really are. Is everyone here? Let's get this started. I'm here because it's required of me. But there's nothing to be gained by talking to that murderer. Remember Ulfric uh, killed her husband? I'm glad I finally got a chance to see this place. And let's go and see. When has any good ever come from talking to the Empire? I never thought of ever willingly stand in the same room with Tullius again. At least not without a weapon in my hand. Oh, it'll happen again. What are you waiting for? Take your seat. And we, we must make them see their danger. Right Why delay? But please, take your seat so that you can begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here speaking from the fire. Wait upon you, Dragonborn. Okay. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats. So we can begin. Yes? That we have all come here no. in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief talus hunter. That didn't take me. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. 
I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input in this matter. What do you think? Are we going to let Alfric dictate terms to us before the negotiations even start? I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. We walk then. No, we'll stay. Out of respect for the Dragonborn and our Greybeard hosts. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Falmouth that's burning your thumbs and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? No, exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the Dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullian, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to Mark her? Really? by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Alfred, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. My card. That'd be entirely out of character. Want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. I'm inclined to agree with that. But that doesn't seem to be on the table. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Markarth? Um... Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard what she said, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I can hear in good faith, despite your known imperial sympathy. As for you, General Thomas, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the Thalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Dalmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you were. It was kind of ridiculous to ask for Markarp. That's a major city. Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing. 
while the fate of the land hangs in the back. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world is. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very quick speech. But what does it Shut have to up. do with the... If he's right about all of we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender for two thrusts. Sid Gear steps down, and then Gear of Stun resumes the Yash. Wait, that's where my home is. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to the dragonborn beside me. Although I'm starting to doubt your fan. Well, you're being ridiculous, Ulfric. What say you, dragonborn? Even the dragonborn betrays Skyrim. These terms are not acceptable. You know that. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Tullius. Bah, this is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms. Yeah, you're hoping to uh, scoop up so a lot of Skyrim. The sons of Skyrim, at least for the greater good above our own interests. Right. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Edmund will step down. And Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Maka. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered. Well, at least I got my Jarl first home. Will step down. Transferred. Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Rifter. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice then, under the circumstances. But once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgir Unslan. You should be pleased, Ellison. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's Imperial. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the dragon menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. And I will be glad to help with that reckoning. Control of the Rift was a great victory. Ulfric must be rather nervous with us so close to his doorstep. Come on, Delmar. We have a oh, how did I get a Daedric Sword of the Inferno? Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that fifth detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can do that here. I anticipated While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed troll of lost gold. The important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons in Cross-reference in this with Delphine's map of dragon burials, I I believe I've identified one of the dragons of all the 
So that was a transcription error. Uh, the subtitles here had an and that wasn't actually present, and that would have been agrammatical. No, I don't think so. I fear this truce will not last. You gave the Empire too much. Ulfric will not let that stand for long. Well, he was demanding way too much. Now you see why I've warned you against them. Yes, but understand, if not for Patanax, Aldwin could not have been over... Kinnerith has placed the voice of wisdom within you. All you need to do is learn to listen to it, and your path will be clear. Okay, so we are done here. And we're free to go. We have nothing to talk about. Partonax is dead. Well, that will never happen. Negotiate the truce, but I don't trust Ulfric. I don't trust Ulfric either. That could have gone worse. Now it's up to you. I'm wondering if Ulfric is still somewhere on the path here, or if the game has already removed him. No, it hasn't. So, I've been curious to try this. Aha! It worked. Interesting. I had no idea whether that would work, but I shouted his friend off the mountain. I'm wondering if I can shout him off the mountain, too. Yeah, so he's not able to do a lot here. And I want to know if I can actually push him. Can I push him all the way off the cliff? Apparently not. Whoa! Oh, and he can push me off the cliff. Okay. So yeah, that's a good reason not to do that. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh goodness, yeah, that's... That's the pretty nasty way to get down my Hrothgar. <laughs> Okay, curiosity satisfied. I've always wanted to try that. <laughs> Actually, that's probably a little bit more successful there. Get some good shield practice in here. Do almost. Yeah, so I this time I did manage to shout Ulfric off the cliff. <laughs> Should respawn at some point. He 
do realize, dude, that fighting on the edge of a cliff is not the smartest thing. Okay, and down you go. Looks like. Yeah, color me uh, amused. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Show yourself. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Hey, did you say something? Did you mean something? Yes? Is it? That's all. Okay, so that is the end of Gomer and Ulfric. Well, probably not, but it was, it's, it amuses me to pretend that it was. So yeah, now we're going to head down to Dragon's Reach and, and actually trap a dragon. Yeah, it really would be nice to think that we just ended a uh, a, re a bloody rebellion, but that does not turn out to be the case. Okay, so divine, splendid. There's a house. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. I'll be glad to. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? So for this, I'm just going to make uh, make this a pretty decent place to live. Is there anything else you like to purchase? Very if you're going to live here, then you probably want to do an alchemy uh, alchemy room, but Very well. Is there anything else you like to purchase? As okay. That that is enough, and that leaves us with still a reasonable amount of gold. Now we're going As I promised. My men stand ready. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Okay, so we are going to head up and trap a dragon. And the reason we're doing this is to figure out how Altuin is getting into Sovngarde, which is the afterlife uh, for the Nords. How he's getting in there to devour souls. This is your crazy idea, huh? Yep, sure it was. Hey, Balgriff. That is kind of a bad way to run. 
do have a plan for luring a dragon here. Yeah. Now we'll just wait. I'm just bound to show up sooner or later, right? No. It's so bright up. Okay, so here we go. Now this is the shot we need. Oh, oh no, that's not the shot we need. Uh, the shot that we need is uh, Coal Dragon, also known as Odabeen. is what we need to deal with. Um, so we'll get Dragon Rams ready. We'll conjure a Frost Atronach. Whoa! Wait, where did... Wow. That scraped Serana a little bit. Oh, wait, did it grab a guard? My... Okay, and we have a dragon here. Now we want to get out our dragon bone sword and we have our shield ready. You get down here. Okay, so that is the fun thing about uh, dragon bone weapons. And I want to make sure that he does not go flying off. Uh, he should crawl his way towards me in a bit, hopefully. So provide that my followers don't stay in the way, then then we've caught a dragon. I did. In Seer Alduin, no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Yep. Or his phone number. Renikaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, he has traveled to Sovngarde, his daughter in Doran Pa'ok, to Ulost Ofan Hinlam. Now that I have answered, um, Serve you? No. Need it. If and when you... Hmm, Croesus. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skull. So it's in an inaccessible place, course, and we need to them, get him, uh... But not. Unikan Korav Gai Mirad. You need to get him to fly you. Uh, to the gate to Sovngarde. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. I'm still amazed that your plan worked. Well, it no, did. Don't mind. I've got a city. Yes. Oh, oh, this is a priceless little bit of dialogue here. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to 
perform some um, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. <laughs> I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Fine, God. Very bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's... Dude's kind of a douche. And apparently he had, has learned his lesson because he's not going to stick around. I'm not sure if he actually got some scales or not. So, we're going to head upstairs and talk to the guards who operate the machinery. Something to tell the gra Be sure about that. You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Your funeral. Someone else <laughs> Get ready to open the trap. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. It's all part of the dragon boat plan. So I'm wondering what happens if I'm on top of the trap when it's uh, released. Okay, well, hopefully this doesn't mean that I'm going to fall to my death. No, that's good. Okay. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yes, 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 I am. Yes. Actually, this isn't a, a bad view either, but it would be nice to... Uh, to see the world as only a Dovah can? It's almost as if you've said that before. So, Brit of I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dov will only increase. Amativ, mu bo kotin stinselok. Oh, I... Would be a bad thing to have written on your tombstone. Ah, the guy with the fruit roll up cloak. I wonder what their vampires typically carry around a, cha a change in clothes for when they're going to go into vampire lord form. Or at least for the vampires that can't. Okay, so this is... Well, it looks like he decided to stop by and stir up a fight with some of the denizens here. Well, that's very kind of him and very kind of irritating of him. But I believe I'm going to summon my own friend here. Okay, so, this is our friendly undead dragon, and he will go and do his thing, and I'm going to then equip, okay, so I want to have Dramora Lords and a Dragonbane Sword ready. Get our shield up. Oh, 
Oh yeah, one of these guys. Oh, actually, maybe having Dragon Rand would be a better shout. Shout in the name of. Oh, looks like I haven't yet qualified uh, enough to. Uh... Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay, that is one less dragon in the world. And it is not one of my favorite dragons, so off we go. But somebody is firing arrows at us. And it looks like Serana has not been able to follow us here, so we might be on our own for a little while. I'm not sure if the game will eventually teleport her to us or not. Okay, that is definitely sounding... It sounds like we, ha we have some real friends here. Careful, careful, Mr. Dramar. Okay, so, yeah, this is a pretty dangerous area. And it looks like we have another dragon to deal with. So, let's see. But, because these are regular dragons rather than ancient dragons or anything like that, dispatching them is not too hard. Oh yeah, I leveled up, so let's take that level. Um, some more health would be nice. Uh, for Conjuration, we could do Elemental Potency. And I guess that's a prerequisite to, to uh, that other cell. But the other option would be to take Restoration and take, uh, take one of the perks there. So there's no deep need to go into this dungeon. But it's also your, your only shot at, at taking on uh, at doing this dungeon, so... Yeah, but our friends here have some pretty nice weapons, so you are, you are going to take some good blows here. And if you have chosen to play as, uh, as a mage and don't have uh, don't have appreciable armor at all, this is a time when you're going to have a really, really tough time making it through. So just take that into account. If you are playing mage style without uh, without any armor at on or without any armor at all then this is a time when you're going to be casting a lot of wards and as you can see this is a pretty good time for ebony weapons if you don't already uh, have decent weapons.
Okay, so this is what it looks like up on top of the tower. And you could go back in, but it is, I believe, just where we stepped out of. I don't think we can go further up, although let's, let's find out. Because this is not an area I'm super familiar with. Oh yeah, same, same place. Okay. Okay, so we're going to drop on down. Oof. And... Looks like we might be... May have calmed down enough to be able to summon Tune uh, here again. Soon? Not quite yet. There's somebody up on top of that platform there. Okay. Okay, let's get our shield up. And we're just gonna charge forward and hope not to be brutally slaughtered. But the problem is there are archers around here who really are quite nasty. And if you get hit with um, with ebony or daedric arrows and a daedric bow, you're gonna really suffer. So you can either hold back and try and shoot them with your own arrows and keep on healing, or you can charge up to them and take advantage of their slow, uh, slow refill rate. Uh, but either way, if they're firing arrows at you, try not to get hit. Okay, so we'll let him help a little bit. Then over here is and that's another one of these guys dead. Unfortunately, many of them have shouts and can knock you down. But the important thing is not to be exposed to too many of these guys at, uh, at the same time because if you're not careful, otherwise... Oh, goodness. I just took a... So I actually blocked a shot, but managed to still, um, still lose like uh, over a quarter of my health. Those are two fewer foes. Um, and again, if you're not already filthy rich by this point in the game, this is not a bad time to uh, scoop up some of this gear and enchant it if you have enchanting. Okay, let's get another Dramora Lord in here. And we'll get our shield back up. So we are again deeply wounded. But yeah, our, our Dramora Lord is really saving our toughest here. So let's keep on moving. Whoa, okay, he his summon time ran out. And we're not regenerating mana all that quickly. Ow. Took another shot. Uh, oh, oh yeah, there's somebody right up there who's firing at us. Okay. So hopefully our Dramora Lord will be able to take care of some of that. that. So I guess I, I'm also learning that I might kind of depend on Serana at this point because this fight would have been, been over long ago if, uh, if she had been here too. Uh, 
Okay. So more, no more of those. And uh, okay, so there's an entrance to a big building over there, and it looks like over here there is something or another that I don't recognize, and there's path upwards. I actually haven't explored this area adequately. Okay, so that's just more of the same over there. Let's walk over this bridge and see what we can find in this area. So that looks like an undead warrior of some kind. Oops, that's not what I want. So let's get the Dramore Lord to go and say howdy to whatever is what is up here? A oh, foe that really was not that hard to take down and a useless scroll. Great. Oh well. Okay, so this actually looks like another tower that is, I think, disassociated with the main main schooled off and point over there. I don't think I've ever been in here before. Okay, so let's give you a friend to talk with. And then I'll bring up my shield. So the Death Lord will be trying to break through my shield and will not be using his shield to block my, uh, my buddy. Looking good. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what's in here. That looks like it might be a wall that comes down. No, maybe not. Okay, are you going to run up the stairs or no? Maybe the challenger is actually... no. Nice. Yeah, the, as I mentioned, the main point of having uh, of having a Dramore Lord at this point is that they are a nice distraction from. Uh, so, was this attached to that? Might might have been. Let's find out. No, no, this just has a chest. Not that exciting. Is there anything more in, in this entrance? No. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's all there is to over here. Let's hope that I... Yeah, good. I landed on the mountain sideways, did not fall off to my death. Good. Now, that is a big and complicated dungeon. I am. I have also been curious as to whether it's possible to avoid it. Can I jump my way up? Because if I can, and the reason that I'm inclined to try is that there's a, a door puzzle in there that I ha have a tough time remembering how to do. And if I can just avoid it, it will saved me considerable trouble, but no, it looks like they probably were paying a lot of attention and decided to really make sure that you couldn't skip by that dungeon, which is a pity. Well, I mean, I guess attention to detail in, in a game like this isn't really a pity per se, but it is inconvenient for my current ends. Okay, so where's the actual entrance? I guess it's over here.
Okay, so here I am in Skuldafen Temple. This might be a good circumstance to use a Dragonbone Bow. to need to use a sword and shield here because otherwise we will not oh uh, where's my shield oh I didn't have it up okay so I'm gonna just run along Yeah, I'm not doing super well right now, so let's heal myself up with the potion. Extreme healing, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, that sounds better. Okay, so we have a puzzle. I think there are multiple puzzles in here. But for this puzzle, there are two doors. One has a snake, one has a bird. And there are... Okay, I think... Oh yeah, so this is the easy puzzle. You match the two ones on the side, and then you match the middle one according to which giant door you want to go in. This one needs to be snake. Uh, and I believe that the right door is the one that you actually uh, can use to advance the quest. So let's do Eagle, I think. And we pull the lever, and it opens this. And it is very dark, and I cannot see a thing. Oop, that is not right. Oh, and apparently I'm, I am misremembering. It is not the right door, it is the left door that we want to... Uh, Activate, and that is the snake. Looking good. In fact, I might just try my running strategy. And that if I can manage it, oh goodness, this I think this might be a mandatory combat room though. Or maybe not. Keep on running. Hey, spiders. Of course, as a vampire, I do have a, a bit of an advantage in that I have a pretty nice resistance to poison. Okay, this is the room that has a kind of tough puzzle, if I remember right. Or at least one that's confused me before. Okay, that is one less foe. Here is the other one. Yeah, one hit kills are often pretty nice. Okay, so dolphin. I saw a dolphin overhead. Birds. I can just barely see that, it really is quite dark. Okay, and bird up here. 
snake now, dolphin, bird, just barely can see it. And uh, is there another? Okay, so there is something else here that I cannot recognize and I don't see any sign. Oh wait, uh, snake. Maybe, it, so do I want this to be a snake? Maybe, maybe that d does it. Is there something I have to do? Maybe there's a lever somewhere. Ah, yes, that looks good. I hope I got it right. Yes, good. But this seems like a good breaking point. I am Pat Gunn, and we've been doing a Let's Play of Skyrim. I'll see you in the next episode.